네, 안녕하세요 여러분 안녕하십니까 잘 지내셨나요? 네, 모두들 반갑습니다 네, 멜리아님, 하니님, 메라미미님, 네, 헤이나우님 Did I pronounce your name correctly? 로포님, 그루님, 네, 안녕하세요 잘 지내셨나요? 네, 오늘 단어, 단어 공부 시간입니다 어, Vocabulary Study Session Today Which is week number 68. 68째 주. 2022년 1월 28일 수업을 시작하겠습니다. 네, 좋은 아침, good morning. 네. 오늘의 첫 번째 단어. First word of today. Today's ones are quite easy. Usually, uh, in general, I would say. Yeah. Anyway, first one of today, which is 실천. 실천. Can you guess what it means? Or if, do you know? We have two examples here. <laughs> 네. <laughs> 실천. Uh, the first one of today is not really easy, I'd say. I would say, yeah. Anyway, 계획, a plan, is an objective. Object in sentence, yeah. 실천에 옮기자. Uh, together, let's move in. Let's move it to 실천. Like 실, something like actual. You know, you have a plan, or that you just not um, plan. Stay in the plan. You just you just want to move it to the actual behavior or actual action. That's what it means. Let's do that. Let's move it to the 실천에. Okay. Uh, maybe I will draw something for you. Uh, a little messy here. Mm. It's like 계획. Plan. And 시, 실천. Actual action. 실천. Let's move it to this way. 계획을 실천에 옮기자. Let's move it. Uh, you can guess what it means, right? So let's do it, not just plan. Let's just do it. Uh, simply, that's what it means. So 계획을 실천에 옮기자. Actual action. Oh, 브랑카님 안녕하세요. <laughs> 반갑습니다. Actual execution. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, that's good. Execution. That that that, that was the word that I was looking for. Thank you, Jeff. Wow, <laughs> always really helpful. <laughs> 네, and 실천을 위해서는 in order to do the do the actual execution, you need or we need courage or brave braveness, courage. Yeah, we need courage to do to the actual execution. So 실천. I had to start from week number one. Oh, you don't have to. Like, if you know many words, then you don't have to. But still, in, from week number one or week number two, you, there might be some word that you don't know, then you can study there. But you don't have to. Mm. Hi, Sam. I'm glad I finally made it to your class. Oh, I'm glad too. Hajar Nim. Hajar Amak Nim. I hope you enjoy the class together. Yeah, so, Shilchon. I guess you know what it means. And let's move on to the next one, which is 노력하다. 노력하다. We have like three examples here. Uh, without that 하다, just 노력 is effort. Effort? Yeah, effort. But 노력하다, do some effort, like trying, uh, to try maybe, yeah, to try. So, but not exactly the same, I'll say. 얼마나 노력했어? Like, how much did you try? 얼마나 노력했어? How, how much did you try? Like, how hard? Like, how hard did you try? 
<laughs> You're welcome, Bere, Berenisnim. Berenisne. <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounce your name correctly. So, yeah. Uh, how much? How hard did you try? Or how hard have you tried? You know, you can, you can translate it either, either way. And if you try, then you can do it. If you give it a shot, oh no, if you, if you do, if you <laughs> put some effort, yeah, something like that, you can do it. To strive to effort oneself, to make every effort. Yeah, very, very similar, or if not the same. Yeah, like to strive. Strive is something that I don't really know. <laughs> strive, maybe. Oh, uh, sounds, yeah, sounds like that. Strive, to strive. So if you try hard, something like that. To do someone's best. 한층 노력하다, like, uh, 한층, like one floor, but one level up, like you try more, more effort, you put more effort. Yeah, 한층 노력하다, that's also a good example. Put effort into something, exactly, yeah. So, try more. Uh, 한층 노력하다 is like to try more. Yeah, that's right. 한층 노력하다. Like to try. 한층 더. You can say 한층 더. You can. 한층 더 노력하다. 한층. It's fine. Yeah, 노력하다. 베레니세님. Yeah, 베레니세님. <laughs> 고맙습니다. <laughs> so, and if you give it a try, if you put some effort, you can do it. 노력하면 할수 있어. And 좀더 노력해. Maybe you can practice translating this one. 좀더 노력해. What does it mean? Oh, 건철 아버님, 안녕하세요. 네, 반갑습니다. Hello, I want to start learning Korean. Where do you recommend I start? Oh, it depends on your level. But if you like total new beginner, then maybe Knowing how to read, knowing how to write Korean alphabet would be the first. Uh, I think Korean alphabet is quite easy to understand, even though you're not familiar with the shape. But as long as you practice a little, then maybe you can get it quite soon. And after that, and get some basic word and little grammar. Then after that, it's all about word and vocabulary. So. Put a little more effort. That's right. Yeah. I'll try a little more. Put some more effort. There, yeah, there. Yeah, everything's correct here. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so, 노력하다. Like to try, or to try hard, put some effort. Like to strive. Yeah, that's what it means. 노력하다. <laughs> oh, JMT님, 안녕하세요. 네. These days, I practice writing. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, practice. It's a long journey. Just as long as you just keep practice, then you can improve. Today is all about Korea. I was at the workshop today, and we prepared different Korean. Oh, this is after shopping in Korean store, and here I end the day with your class. So that's very good. <laughs> mm. What what food did you prepare? Like, 무슨 어떤 음식인가요? 네, Mariel 님 안녕하세요. 네, the next one is 보호. Have you heard of it? 보호. We have some examples here. Oh, Merami Minim. Protection, exactly. Protection. Boho. Protection or uh, just protection. protection. 이 사람들은, 이 사람들, plural. So, these persons, these people need protection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Merami Minim, that, is, that was a very good translation. Except this one is a plural. So, it has to be like these people these persons only one mistake but still very good need protection 
we often see that 어린이 보호 구역 oh like ch 어린이 children protection area like around the school like road there's a crossroad crossroad no no not crossroad crossing and crossing like near a school 어린이 보호 구역 like the car has has to move cars have to move slowly not dangerously something like that Orini protection like children protection area or children protection district or something like that Orini Poyokuyo that, that is a very good example and Tayon like natural nature nature protection environment 환경 환경 보호 protection Oh, Hyukin Nim Oremani Neo. The Omchong Oremani Neo. Omchong Oremani Live Poneo. Kudok Jasuga Omchong Duroso Dolesoyo. Kusaya Hangu Munaga Mani Alo Chikito Hekoyo. Kibuni Muramazo the Sarangsura Sunda. Something Nimi, Chigum Kunyokar Hechigo. Keshingoyo, Sarangsura Sunyo. Kumasimna, Barsim Tongma, Kumasimna, Hyukin Nim. Tongma Oremani, Pangasimida. Ne, the next one is Information Protection. 정보, information, protection, and 보호대. Oh, 보호대 and 보호장비 are similar, but 보호대 usually like small thing, like elbow protection, like, like something like pad, elbow pad, or shin pad, knee pad, like something like that is 보호대. And 보호장비, 장비, 장비 is more bigger one, like helmet, or even like shoulder pad like bigger or even equipment 보호 장비 and 보호 시설 like protection facility something like shelter or public shelter something like that 보호 시설 so 보호 means protection yeah simply protection and let's move on to the next one which is 씻다 it can be conjugated as 씻어 present tense and past tense 씻었어 and future tense 씻을 거야 oh isn't that 대 is big oh okay it's different different trans character <laughs> okay oh it may confuse you 대 usually big huge is 대 like 대형 but this 대 is different sometimes sounds like a pad a protecting pad, yeah, 보호대. And 씻다, 닦다, very very similar. 씻다 and 닦다. Uh, okay. In this case, in in this case, in in this case, yeah, 씻다. You can also use 닦다. But I'll say 씻다 is more like to rinse, to rinse with water or any kind of liquid that is 씻다 usually with water 씻다 yeah usually in most cases if something has to do it with water 씻다 and 닦다 you can use with water or you know tissue or or towel or with you 닦다 with your hand just there's something 닦다 with your hand not 씻다 in that case so 씻다 is all usually most cases with water, something with uh, wash with water to rinse. That is 씻다 and 닦다. Not only water, yeah, it can be your hand, towel, tissue, or anything. 닦다. Or maybe with a brush. Yeah, 닦다. So a little different. Or to wipe, something like that, yeah. Mm. Uh, 환경. 환경 means environment environment uh, 환경 uh, maybe my pronunciation is not really correct 환경 환경 environment did I spell correctly? environment 창문을 닫다 that's right we prepare kimchi, 잡채, 비빔밥, 고추장 and uh, 매조 과? 어, 매집과 I'm not sure 매집과 After workshop, we 백컴 A diploma Oh, okay 
김치 잡채 어 잡채 <웃음> 비빔밥 You're a good baker and I, I guess your cooking is also very good <웃음> Mm. Must be great. Yeah. 창문을 닫다. That's right. 창문을 씻다. When you rinse it with your window without water, then 씻다 can be okay. But usually 창문을 닫다 is correct. 씻다 with water, 닫다 can be without water. That's right. You're welcome, Hajar Amak님. 네, you're welcome. And okay, 손 씻어. Uh, wash your hands. Like with water. 물로 uh, with water 씻어. Wash it with water. 물로 씻어 and I wash it a thing that is stained on a cup 컵에 묻은 거 a uh, 컵에 묻은 거 씻었어 thank you 선생님 당신은 도움이 됩니다 oh I'm glad to hear that 고맙습니다 마마 모치님 a copy oh, okay didn't I? okay sorry about that okay I've been practicing Hangul because I want to go there. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, Hangul is very interesting. It's a very unique alphabet in my opinion, and I hope you find find it very interesting. And you shitta to wash with water. And the the next one is nutta nutta. We have four examples here. What does it mean? to be late exactly so 나 오늘 늦어 what does it mean uh, simply and 나 오늘 늦어 mm. 나 오늘 늦어 like you may call 나 오늘 늦어 to be better no 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 늦다 is like to be late mm, better better not that, maybe not that, okay. To be better. Not that, like, 이게 더 나아. 이게, this one is better. 더, 이게, like, 더 나아. It can be conjugated this way, 나. 이게 더 나아, 이게 더 나아, 낫다. In the case, it's, this one is better. This one is better. Maybe you are confused. You get confused with this one. This time, 늦다. 늦다. To be late. 늦잠. Yeah, related with 늦잠. 늦, uh, 늦다 is related. 늦잠. Waking up late. 늦잠. Like 늦다 and sleep. 잠 together. It's like waking up late. 늦잠. What's the difference between 늦다 and 지각하다? Oh, 늦다. 늦다. 지각하다. 지, 지각하다 is very limited. Like, you have to go there in time, but you're late. Like, usually class or an office, like job, you have to be there, but you're late. In that case, 지각하다. You can use 지각하다. 지각하다 is quite limited in those two kind of cases. But 늦다, not only being late to be somewhere or this or this is it's 10 10 p.m. in the evening in the night too late or you can use 늦다 but you don't use 지각하다 in that case like any kind of late then you can use 늦다 저는 오늘 라이브에 안 늦었어요 yeah very good very good example very good <laughs> oh everybody can make a mistake so don't worry about it sometimes you get confused it's part of the journey but as you keep correcting yourself you know you get better don't worry about it 네 and 제 I'll be like oh 나 오늘 늦어 I'll be late today something like that today I'm going to be late 나 오늘 늦어 
And Che, that guy over there, 어제도 늦었고, like he or she, he was late yesterday and today as well, he was late. And Che, 어제도 늦었고, 오늘도 늦었어. 늦다. And 수업을 살짝 늦게 시작했어. Mm, I, I, don't, I started the class. Or he or she started the class a little, a slightly late. That's what it means. Like if you, if the class is supposed to start at nine o'clock, but if the class started like nine o two, like two minutes later, then you can use something like this. Uh, I or he or she started the class a little late. Nujayo. Hmm. <laughs> 늦었어요. 늦을 거예요. Okay, 늦을 거예요. Usually, when something 거예요 is used with a with an adjective, then most of the cases it means probably late or something like that. 조금 혼란스럽다. 하지만 당신은 그것을 잘 표현. 정말 감사합니다. I'm just glad <laughs> my class, my explanation is helpful for you, Mama Mochi님. 네, 저는 그냥 제가 조금, 조금이라도 도움이 됐다고 하시니 정말 저는 기쁩니다. <웃음> I will be a little late tomorrow. 저 내일 조금 늦을 거예요. Yeah, you can say that way. The apology. 어, oh, 사과가 너무 늦었다. 어, oh, are, you, are you translating this one? 취소, 취소, I cancel. Canceling. So, 취소하다 is like to cancel. So, it's too late to cancel. That's what it means. 취소하기에는 Or maybe you can shorten this one as 취소하기엔 취소하기엔 Same thing. 취소하기엔 너무 늦었어. Alright, this, this one is more common though. Yeah. 취소하기엔 너무 늦었어. It's too late to cancel. Like since this one is past tense, like already, kind of like already late, already too late to cancel. Imi already, that's right. <laughs> so, nutta to be late, and the next one is iut. Iut. Have you heard of it? Iut. We have three examples. Mm. Oh. This end is not okay. Un nun thing is not just a uh, topic particle. Okay, it's a very <laughs> confusing theory about the thing, the grammar point about this un or nun uh, particle. It's some. Uh, I it can be like topic marker, but not only that. It has many different function. Uh, it's like one of them, it can be like topping marker or it can be like, you know, comparing like this one, but not this one. Like when these two are different thing, this one is like 이거는 something and 이거는 on the other, on the other hand something. Then you can use also 은는, like when it comes to this particular one. Mm, and this particular one, like comparing, and you there's a different, right? Then if if there's a different differences, then you can this one un and this one un, and 취소하기 에는 너무 늦었어. Uh, it's not late for the other thing, but it's late for to cancel, uh, something like that. It's different compare something like that. Okay. Uh, my point is, un nun is not just has one function like topping marker. It has many di different functions. So mm, that's my explanation about that. Oh, 죄송 and 취소. It can be it can be confusing. Yeah, I can understand. And 이웃, neighbor, exactly neighbor, neighborhood. Okay, the person with respect. 그 분은 우리 집. Our place or my place, my house. 
근처에 사는 이웃이야. So the person is a neighbor who lives around my place or my our house. That's what it means. <웃음> 아, uh, it's hard to get it from just context. Yeah, you. It takes a lot of time. You know, you know. Unun can be used this kind of cases, that kind of case, and something something different one as well. <laughs> it's very confusing. Oh, it's even very difficult for me to explain. Mm, it's something really hard to like teach. You know, it takes time. <laughs> oh, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that, Jeff. So, that person is a neighbor who lives around my home, my place. And 이웃집, like just neighborhood, neighbor person. 집 is usually house, the house of my neighbor, something like that. But you can be that you know, person who lives, neighbor. In next to our place or something, it can be like that too. 놀러 갔어, like went, go, like went to play, literally. But 놀러 가다 usually means I I visit his his place to hang around, something like that. Mm, th that's what it means. 이웃집에 놀러 갔어. Oh, 노, 이웃집에 놀러 가자. Then it can be like, let's hang out in the neighborhood or something like that. But 놀러 갔어. I went, I visited. In this particular case, I visit, I visited a <laughs> um, place, my neighborhood, to hang around. Mm, that's what it means. Hello, I love your content. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lian님. 네, 고맙습니다. I went to play, or it can be like that, or I went to hang, or hang out with, in the neighborhood, something like that, yeah. In the neighbor house, exactly. <laughs> and 이웃 동네, like neighboring town or neighboring village. 이웃 동네. And 이웃 나라, like neighboring country. Uh, in case of Korea, like Japan. Uh, one example, 이웃 나라, neighbor, neighboring country. So, 이웃, neighbor, neighborhood, that's what it means. 선생님이 알기 쉽게 설명해 주셔서 감사합니다. Oh, <laughs> 저도 기쁩니다. <laughs> 이웃 나라, like Canada and US, or US and Mexico are neighboring country. Like France and Germany, neighboring country. 이웃 나라. Neighbor country. And the next one is 편지. 편지. Have you heard of it? 편지. Oh, is it neighbor's house or neighborhood or either? It can be either one. It can be either one, yutjip, neighboring house. But usually just neighborhood. People, usually it implies, is especially with this nolo kada together, yutjip. And yutjip usually means a person, usually, who lives yeah, in the neighbor. Yeah, yutjip, usually, usually. But it can be referring to house. Yeah. 음, 없습니까? 어, 편지, 편지. It, it means letter, letter. Before email era, just letter. To write down, to give someone a message, letter. Like, letter. <laughs> L-E-T-T-E-R. And 그거 나한테 온 편지야. Like, 나한테, to me, 
order come like someone sent me that letter is that the letter that sending to me <laughs> 음, something like that 그거 나한테 온 편지야 you're welcome Jeff 편지 is letter that's right yeah. oh I'm good I'm good Hilda oh Hilda 님 오랜만입니다 네 반갑습니다 good morning Hilda and 편지 한통 oh uh, tone can be used as a counting unit like one letter one of the letter like not one of the letter just one letter 편지 한통 one letter 편지 if you say 두통 two letters cane like you got you've got two letters in this case 편지 두 통이 맞습니다 maybe 세통 three letters You've got three letters in this case. 편지 세 통이 맞습니다. <laughs> yeah, 편지 세 Oh, that's a that's a picture about it. 메라 미미님. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> 편지 like three. 세 통이 맞습니다. And 너의 편지를 받고 as I or received your letter. I was too. Glad, something like that. 반갑다 can be used like to be glad. Usually, 반갑다 is can be used when you meet someone you know unexpectedly. Usually, but when you see something and you feel glad, like something like that, you can also use kind of unexpectedly from usually from someone or just to see someone. Or 반갑다 can be used for. To meet someone for the first time, it can be used in that way too. But usually, when you see someone you know unexpectedly and you feel glad to greet that person, you know. Anyway, usually, it means that 반갑다. Sorry, my English English is bad. Oh, my English is not that good either. So don't worry about it. Oh, the recording machine in the phone would say that. Oh, message 두 통이 왔습니다. You can say like that. Yeah, message 세 통이 왔습니다. Oh, 세 개의 메시지가 왔습니다. You can be like that too. Hello, I have a question. What's the difference between 나라 and 국가? Uh, it's pretty much the between, uh, difference between country and nation. Like 국가 sounds more like nation and 나라 sounds more like country. It can be used interchangeably in some cases, but still, yeah, very similar, if not the same. <laughs> You're welcome, all him, all him. Yeah. And so that's it for 편지. And the next one is 공동. 공동. Can you explain 나한테? Oh, 한테. Like to, na, me, to me, so nahante. Sometimes it's like nahante, like from me. It can be like it depends on the situation. Nahante can be like from me, but since the verb is oda to come, so come to me. Nahante on, 편지야. 그거 나한테 온 편지야. Like to me, usually like to me. Hante is like more like a well, pretty, pretty much the same as ege, na ege, but hante is more way more commonly used. Na hante like particle. And the next one is kongdong, kongdong. Uh, maybe since I have plenty of time today, I guess maybe hante. Uh, more about this hante. And hante so. 
this is like to a person, someone, like to someone. And 한테서 is usually from, uh, always from someone. But this 한테서, the 서 can be dropped. So it can be looked the same in some cases, in many cases. But you can, 나한테, okay. Uh, the related verb, 나한테 말하다, 말하다. 나한테 주다. To give. If 한테 is used with 주다, to give, then it always means to. Like, but if 한테 is used with 듣다, 들었다. I, I heard from someone, 듣다 or 들었다. Uh, usually 들었다. I heard, 들었어. Or 받다, which means receive. So 나한테 받다. You receive from me. Uh, depends on the verb. You can just easily guess if it's to or if it's from. Mm. Usually, in, in most cases. So, I hope you can you understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, 한테. It can be either to or from. But if the verb is used with 받다, to receive, then it must be from. If the verb is used, like give, 주다, then it means to. 한테 means to. <웃음> 나는 당신과 같은 훌륭한 선생님을 두어서 너무 행복합니다. <웃음> oh, 말씀 너무 고맙습니다. I'm, and thank you for saying so, 마마 모친님. 너무 고맙습니다. Oh, 공동. Like two or more piece, per, uh, two or more, more person. Do something together. Something like that. 공동. Mm. 두 업체. 업체 can be like a company. A 기업. 기업 also company. But usually 기업 is a huge company. Usually. Not all, always huge. Like middle. Yeah, middle size also can be. Up, uh, 기업. But 업체. Usually like small company. You always. Not, not always, but usually, yeah. Anyway, to obtain, two companies, two companies are um, par participated together uh, about the development. Yeah. Like, Kevin, two companies trying to do, develop something, and they did it together. Yeah, 공동으로. Together, and 이 회사, this company is owned by two persons together, 공동으로, not by only one person, like 두 사람이 공동으로, or like plural, like 세 사람, it can be like that too, three persons together. This company is owned by three persons together. And 공동 1위, like 1위, when it comes to ranking, like first place is 1위. But two or more persons are on the same ranking, like number one, then it can be like 공동 1위. And 공동, like together, group purchase, like purchasing together, 공동 구매. And 공동 재산. You know, property, 공동. Two or more persons own the property together, then 공동 재산. And 공동 작업 is like collaboration. 작업 means task, but do the task together, like collaboration. That is 공동 작업. It's like two or more persons together do something that is 공동. I'm a learner too. I know how to read in Hangul, but if the word new, I don't know the meaning. Yeah, it's a long journey. A long journey. Don't hurry up too fast. Yeah, and don't take any pressure about it. Hello, how are you? I am your new subscriber. Your channel will always help me to practice Korean language. Thanks for. Oh, <laughs> restricted. I was reading. <laughs> Isn't it like 동시에? 
Oh, 동시 means same time. You do something at the same time. That is 동시에. Mm, the nuance is different. 동시에. At the same time is 동시에. 뭐 공동. Just together. Do it together. I'll say there's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah. 너무 늦었어요. 자야 해요. 선생님, good night. Oh, yeah, have a good sleep and see you, see you soon. 네, 마마 모치님. And that is a very good example about 늦다. <laughs> They have a good sleep. See you next time. Like jointly, like jointly. That's right, jointly owned, jointly developed. Oh, exactly. So, yeah, that was so helpful. As always, Jeff, thank you for that. <laughs> so kind teacher. <laughs> thank you, Hilda. And, oh, 공동 구대. I'm trying to say 구매. I'm not sure. Eh, so 공동, like joint. Exactly, jointly. <laughs> ne. And the next one is 까닭. 까닭. Usually just 기억받침 is used, not real. 까닭. 까닭. Which is very, very, very similar with EU, which we have learned in week number 17. And these are examples of this EU. But sometimes 까닭 can be used interchanged, inter interchangeable sometimes. Anyway. <웃음> 선생님, 저는 이제 자러 갈 거예요. 다음 주에 다시 만나길 빌어요. 네. 바래요. 아, 바래요, maybe. 예. 좋은 하루 되세요. 진심으로 감사합니다. Uh, you're welcome, Hazard, and have a good sleep. See you next time. 음, 고맙습니다, Hazard. 네. 이유를 대. Like, give me a reason. But you don't say 까닭을 대. 네. In this case, you don't use 까닭. Yeah, re, EU means reason. 까닭 can be like reason too. But a little, little different. And 아무도 이유를 몰라. Nobody knows the reason. But you don't say 아무도 까닭을 몰라. Maybe you can use it. But yeah, 까닭 is very less commonly used. Yeah, usually people usually use EU. But not 100% the same. A little different. And 그런 이유로 나한테 화난 거야? 그런 까닭으로 나한테 화난 거야? Same thing. In this case, you can use either one. EU or 까닭. It's like, are you angry? Are you angry about that reason? Or is he or is she ang ang get angry with that reason? Yeah. 까닭 can be used for reason. Like something about caused by something. Reason or cost, like kind of a nuance. Uh, EU, EU is like just reason. You do something because, because, more like because. But gada, it can be like that too, but usually something caused by something. You know, caused by. Uh, thing caused by something 그런 까닭으로 something like that reason it can be like reason like reason too but it, it usually means because someone do it because you or but 까닭 like something like ca cause something like that not by I would say, uh, maybe. <laughs> and 다른 이유가 있을 거야. Maybe there's a, some other reason, or maybe there's some other cause. You can like that. And EU, the reason is simple. Yeah, 까닭 is, but less commonly used, and still, yeah, a little different, I would say. Mm. <laughs> 까닭, <laughs> nightmare to pronounce. Usually just 
people usually usually say this as just kata kata ka ta mm, usually oh with that reason kata guru with that reason uh, with with something yeah with particle uro <laughs> Oh, yeah, Kanak is not really easy, but very similar, very very similar with EU, which means reason. And Kanak is not many people use this Kanak, mm. so don't really worry about it. Just yeah, it's ranked, it's ranking number eight hundred and forty nine, but in real conversation, no, not even that. It's very very less. Commonly used, so don't really worry, worry about it. And the last word of today is pangan. Pangan. Oh, it's different, but from pangan, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean inside room. <laughs> this pangan is just one single word. Pangan. I think the ranking is based on the written sources, not spoken. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's right. That's a good, yeah, good, good point. Yeah. Um, the ranking is based on like many, many articles usually, and that's why words like "kadag" is under under on the list. But still, it's good to know. Still, it's good to know. Pangan, <laughs> pangan. It's more like a way to solve a problem, like huge problem. When you when there's trouble, like in this case, 경제 회복, economic recovery. Um, we need a way for uh, economic recovery. Yeah, we need a way to solve a problem that is 방안. 방안. And 다른 방안 찾아보자. Let's let's find a different way. Different. Let's find a different. Mm, solve a uh, different different uh different. <laughs> uh, 방법 is like way, but different different way. 방안. Like. It can be like plane, different plane or different way, maybe somewhere in between. So a solution is solution. <laughs> 다른 방안. Let's find a different solution. That was that was the one that I was looking for. Reaction. Reaction is like 반응. Our reaction is. Yeah, I can understand. And 반. You can, it can be confusing. Pan ung reaction. Pangan. Like when you encounter encountering a huge problem, like economy, like in this case, in in this case, economic problem, or like political problem. When you make, when you have to make a decision about a political issue or something like that, then you need some solution. And that is 방안. And 방안을 찾기 위해 노력하고 있어. We are or they are trying to find a solution, a way to get out of the problem. Mm. Something like that. 방안. Mm. Mm. So yeah, 방안. Also, is is used usually used in a written. Korean written language. Anyway, 방안. Like solution. Kind of solution. 동사, 방안. No, it's a, it's a noun. 방안. 방안. Solution. It's a noun. 명사. 명사. 
노력하다 again. Oh, 노력하다. Yeah, that's a 노력하다. Trying to put some effort. They are they are putting some effort to find a 방안. No solution. So 노력하다 is also used there. So just to summarize, 실천 like actual execution. Thank you, Jeff, <laughs> about that yeah, English translation. And 노력하다, to put some effort, to try, something like that. 보호, protection. And 씻다, to wash, usually with water. 늦다, to be late. 이웃, neighbor, neighborhood. 편지, like letter. 공동, joint, and joint. Mm. 까다, kind of like, something like reason, 이유. And 방안. Like a way, or to solve a solution, a way to solve something that is pangan. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. Everything you're amazing. Too. Oh, thank you, Hilda. 고맙습니다. <laughs> I'm trying to explain. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> and I'm re I really enjoy like just interacting with you, everyone here. So, thank you. Yeah. And the next two week. Also, there will be a like vocabulary session. So, hope you have a good week, good weekend, and take care of your health, everyone. And see you next time. Wasn't too hard today, as it's yeah, I think so. 오늘은 많이 어렵지 않았었던 것 같아요. Nice vocab for today. 감사합니다. 선생님, you're welcome. You're welcome. 예, yeah, 모두들 고맙습니다. 예, 그러면은 항상 건강 조심하시고 건강 잘 챙기시고. 그럼 다음 시에 다음 시간에 또 뵙겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다.